good evening. I'm here to talk a little bit about the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, Susie, just for the record, uh, we all know you as well, but just uh, name, address, uh, city, state, and purpose, and you, you did say Chamber of Commerce. Susie Collins, I'm the president of the Little Miami River Chamber Alliance, formerly the Loveland Area Chamber of Commerce. The Little Miami River Chamber Alliance is happy to share that it has been approximately one year since our expansion and rebranding from the Loveland Area Chamber of Commerce to the Little Miami River Chamber Alliance, providing services to Loveland, Sims, and Miami Township. Members have enjoyed some of the great programs we have offered in the past and some new programs that have been offered in 2017. Members have reported that the greater reach to consumers and businesses on our, in our area has helped their business become more successful. One business reported, well, the Chamber of Commerce has been essential for my business. Through CC's leadership, the Chamber has provided opportunities to meet and expand to other businesses and community leaders. The Chamber provides a pathway to further educate and expand our business. Between the different mixer groups and the leadership series, the businesses can take advantage of how other groups are reaching with individual consumers and other business-to-business -business networks. The exposure to the community through events such as food truck rally, frogman triathlon race, firecracker festival, Christmas in Loveland, and the concerts in the parks allow the businesses to interact with local citizens to make our outstanding communities more vibrant." End of quote. Our morning mixers combined with three neighboring chambers have seen tremendous growth and participation over the past years. We were reporting 15, we were reporting 15 person mixers prior to teaming up and now we have close to 90 members in participation. Our after hours with as many as six neighboring chambers have benefited members in gaining resources from businesses nearby and customers that they would normally not be able to reach. What we've all discovered is that working together and collaborating, collaborating has made us all a better resource for the businesses we serve. The Chamber's events are seeing all-time high participation for both business-to-business -business and business-to-consumer events. We have worked with hundreds of volunteers over the past year. We continue to get more involved in the neighborhoods we serve. We work in coordination with our, our school districts, nonprofits, fundraisers. Some of the community programs we have helped and led and grow include LAMP, a Loveland adult mentoring program at the high school, Loveland Community Drug Prevention Program, which I'm the president for, NEST, a community after school program for the impoverished areas in Loveland, Loveland Women's Club, assisting with nonprofits and benefit local charities, Eagles and Friends of Little Miami, just to name a few. We are welcoming more businesses to the area in a wide variety of categories from restaurants, manufacturers, breweries, fitness and service industries. In 2017, we added two member value added programs. Our Loveland Young Professionals Group, you wanna check them out, they're a lot of fun if you're 40 and under. Leadership in Action, this program joins many other business-to-business -business programs that we offer. We are stronger than ever and are having the largest increase in membership growth than ever before. It is a privilege to serve the businesses in Loveland, Sims, and Miami Township. We are here for the businesses and support them in their success. In regards to the two events that were taken from, cha from the chamber, I just want to go, um, go there for a minute. It seems there was confusion on why the firecracker event was placed in a larger setting in 2016. Make no mistake, we were consulted by city, staff, and council to do so. That is important. The firecracker festival was moved to appease city council and staff. We have always been compliant and partnered with the city. As a strong economic development organization in the city of Loveland, we want to once again reach out and ask that you allow us to help you. The events that cost the city over $20,000 in 2016 could cost taxpayers nothing or a minimal amount should the city decide to partner with the businesses. We ask that you vote tonight to return both the Firecracker Festival and Christmas in Loveland to the Chamber. We hope you'll put your city and the businesses first 
I look forward to working with the city and on these events. Lastly, we have 285 members, a team of ambassadors, several committees, and a leadership team of 15 business owners comprising our board of directors. We will continue to serve. We will continue to thrive, and we are here to stay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.